Hello, welcome back. We are describing about the test methodology and how we are going to do a performance testing. In the second chapter, we describe about how to in, how to set up your test environment. And in the last chapter, we uh, we, we define what is what is performance exit criteria, and then we define what are the performance criteria for our project. Now, next step, which is the third step in the testing methodology is to design the test and in this chapter we are going to uh, going to deal with test design all right and especially in this video we are going to define what is a workload and this is a very important concept and there are a lot of time this performance testing is really not very efficient or at least the result of the performance test is not very effective or or efficient because they don't choose a proper workload alright so therefore we need to understand what is workload and also we can define a workload for our project alright so I will give an example so let's say most of you might be aware about Google Apps so Google Apps is the, your Google Gmail Google Calendar and uh, like the you know, Google Hangout and then Wookie and so on so essentially these are you know these are something called productivity apps right so this is how in a company people collaborate with each other right and if you take for example a product that provides you collaboration services so these are possible kind of services say maybe a chat a bit in you know, an instant chat between two employees and then docs where one employee can share his doc with another employee Right. so this is kind of a repository where we can put all the documents similarly they can do a discussion or certain issues mail there is a email services between employees and outside and then whenever they want to do a meeting they can do a Google hangout kind of thing where people can meet together online and they can track their projects using the project services and they can set up and schedule meeting using calendar services and they can collaboratively do their knowledge management using Uki services so essentially what this collaboration services product let's say this, this product name is XYG so this XYG product is giving you all these eight services okay and you as a performance engineer you want to evaluate this product okay so so the question here is what kind of what kind of operations that you want to uh, you want to simulate our end goal is to simulate end users experience as close as possible all right so that is the key goal so let's take a minute and then see like you know what kinds of operations are possible let's start with uh, mail let's say for example in case of mail like you know one can read mail okay and then one can reply mail then one can forward mail and then one can delete search and you can do a group mail so basically what I showed you here there are six operations can possible in mail similarly when you do chat you can send a text message okay so short text message to your friend you can invite your friend okay and you can add friend and you can again search and do, you can do a voice chat so essentially in the chat sub services we have these are these kind of operations possible similarly if you consider about calendar right you can invite people on a meeting you can do a you know you can join somebody else meeting or you can browse what kind of meetings are going on or you can schedule a meeting with say four to five people okay so this is these are the kind of operations so basically what I'm trying to write here is that what are the operations that is possible similarly in case of docs you can do probably browse you can upload docs and you can delete okay and similarly in case of discussion you can uh, you can probably ask question then browse then reply to some thread 
okay and in case of meeting uh, you can join you can share your meeting on forum then you can uh, you know you can host small meeting or you can host webinar and so on and in case of project and wiki you can we can manage project and then you can you know you can add pages to wiki and so on so essentially what we have written here are the operations okay so these are all operations that is possible in this collaboration services so in this page i have written all those operations okay so take a minute and then just pause the video and then take a look at this and the important question is like say for example when this user say let's say when the user one is using this services so what kind of operation does he does he do like does he always delete emails may not be but does he always invite somebody in calendar no basically what he does his uses pattern is something like this so maybe he's come to office at say 8 a.m in the morning then first he will check the mails so that is a read heavy operation that time and after that he might be replying some mails okay then he will start working and then maybe he'll go to the project and then start doing something in the project then maybe he's going to write some document okay then you know maybe at uh, 12 noon during lunch time he will invite his friend for a for a lunch in the, in the instant messenger so we need to understand actually what is the mix of these operations so basically in a, out of say for example out of all the services let's say this user is going to use maybe 60 percent of time on email maybe just five percent of time on chat maybe 10 percent of time on docs and maybe two percent of time on meeting let's say five percentage of time in the calendar application and maybe ten percentage on wiki and say twelve percentage on project so what i'm saying here is that like so this user is going to use these services in certain percentage okay he is definitely not going to do hundred percent of time mail so therefore if you want to test and that test just only exercise mail that is not correct okay so essentially the question here is what is the mix okay so how do you determine what is the mix that you're going to do so 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 basically to determine the mix so there are some guidelines okay and these guidelines come out of experience these guidelines comes after understanding the services and after understanding the business need right then what kind of business user you know what kind of users they are doing and what is their pattern and so on so that is how these things will come so the first guideline is simulate real user simulate to real user okay so exactly you simulate what a real user is going to do and then so to do that you must have a fairly good idea about the business context of the application okay so important thing is that you must be knowing about business context you need to understand like you know in this email service like you know whatever you know in this production in this collaboration service so people you know when they log in you know so normally like this is a normal like you no know, this is an office where people work from 8 a.m to 5 p.m so in this kind of scenario you are expecting people to come to the office at 8 a.m to or say 9 a.m so in this is the one hour where everybody will check the mails okay so that means the transaction level initial like you know, whenever we are going to run the test initially probably we are going to do a lot of this mail activities okay and 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 that is what i meant so that is that is what is one of the thing is that you need to know expected expected transaction volumes at different at different time all right and then also you need to know what is the peak load okay so what is the peak load and like you know generally like you know again in the you know when everybody's come to office that is probably the peak load definitely not at 12 o'clock where everybody is going to lunch okay so you must be understanding about the peak load and then also you need to understand how long that peak load exists okay and another important thing that you need to understand but how this business grow over time okay so that is the way that you know which basically like for example if the business grows then 
which of the services is going to grow are they going to uh, are the requirement of the services going to going to go grow linearly or whenever the whenever the business grows maybe we are going to going to going to stress more on the male services than the project services okay it depends right so you need to understand like you know you know wh where the business growth is and then which service is going to be more affected okay so basically you need to understand future growth okay so based on these guidelines okay you probably come up with a mix let's say 70 percentage of time male and 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 so on and 20 percentage on project 10 percentage on chart and so on and that mix is called workload okay so that mix is called workload and we have to design that workload in this chapter in the next couple of videos we are going to see a sample workload for this kind of collaboration services and then we are going to design a workload for our project thank you